and I'm back to do my drum roll please 16 week update and I know that you guys are like what do you mean 16 weeks you were just 13 weeks last week apparently I've been super off about my dates I'm guessing somewhere around 16 weeks pregnant um give or take so uh yeah 16 weeks pregnant and so I'm going to just label this my 16 week update. Getting right into it with my pelvic exam that my midwife did today. She says that I am about 16 weeks pregnant. That's what she thinks. They were thinking that I was around 18 weeks but since my ovulation is very very off because I breastfed. They um when she did the pelvic exam they said that I was around 16 weeks. So yeah. 16 weeks is what I'm going to go by and what I'm going to label this and I'm just going to go over some symptoms that I had and tell you guys some news that I got from my doctor. Today was a doctor's appointment and she told me some of, you know, basically what was going on with my body. So if you guys watch my pregnancy vlogs, I'm, I'm sure you watch other women's pregnancy vlogs and if you know about, if you've ever watched Gabe and Jess, um, she had like, um, muscle sh separation and apparently I have that too for my first child which is which is not like usual but you know one of the cons to having children so young is you know my body's not finished developing yet you know I'm still developing I'm still maturing into a woman so that's one of the downfalls of having kids so young you know when you're not supposed to or whatever um your body's not finished developing so you know apparently having Isaiah you know caused my muscles in my stomach um to separate a lot for a 19 year old about to be 20 year old according to what my midwife said they're very separated basically what that means is there's nothing holding in the baby besides my uterus so you know basically it's just like I said, it's, as the baby grows, there will be nothing holding, like, instead of my muscles being there to support the baby along with my uterus, it'll just be my uterus. And that's going to look pretty disgusting and be pretty painful for me. She told me to get a maternity belt and they sell those, you know, on the internet, Toys R Us, everywhere basically, motherhood, maternity, and I'm just going to order one offline. But she told me to get a maternity belt. Um, to wear and I need to wear that sleep wear it all day because that's going to exercise my muscles and make them strong when I had Isaiah I should have been doing my sit-ups but you know I was thinking okay it'll close by itself which it didn't um and I, it wasn't too long ago that I had Isaiah so um my muscles are still kind of you know like hey what's going on um I'm still trying to fix myself and you're having another baby so my body's after this, my body will pretty much be done with pregnancy for my liking until I get married and on down the road for sure because I definitely don't want to mess up any um, internal organs or anything like that. So yeah, that's the first thing I learned with my midwife. Today was actually the first appointment with my midwife and I actually love her. She, she's really sweet. Um, she's really down to earth. She gets right to the point. And I love that about her. Also, they told me that I was anemic so um, I have to start taking more iron supplements and they also told me to eat more because I am losing weight I definitely don't definitely don't want that because not only am I pregnant I breastfeed so that's really hard on my body so um, I have to make sure that I'm eating 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 for sure and drinking a lot of water I told her that I've been sneaking around drinking coke and you know that's not good for you whether you're pregnant or not so she told me no juice no you know, nothing. She doesn't want me drinking anything except water. I'll be drinking my water and my smoothies and my shakes. <laughs> so, yeah, she basically just gave me some information at the doctor about um, your 16th week and everything like that. And, um, yeah. Great news for you guys and for myself. Um, I get my first anatomy ultrasound on Friday so hopefully my next pregnancy vlog that I have for you guys y'all will know what I'm having well y'all won't know because I'm doing a gender reveal for you guys but I will know what I'm having and it's going to be so exciting so hopefully Friday I find out what I'm having and uh I just cannot wait Friday cannot get here fast enough not only that I can see exactly how far along I am and really start to enjoy and get into this pregnancy but I really can't wait to find out what I'm having which I'm hoping is on Friday so that I can start baby shopping and getting clothes and oh, I'm just so excited I'm so excited symptoms that I've had this past week 
are, I've been super duper emotional. I've been like that since like 12 weeks though. Been super, super duper emotional and my mood changes super fast. And I'm also craving, 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 craving like crazy candy. Like I have to have sweets. I have to have something. And that, that kind of went away. But then it came back. Like that craving went away, but then it came back full throttle. So now, like right now, I have, I bought this from CVS when I went to go pick up my prescription and I bought a Kit Kat bar. And it's ridiculous. Like kid, that much candy is not good for anybody, but I indulge in it and I have to stop. I love candy though right now. I feel like this is a girl. Oh, also, when I went to the doctor, they listened to the heartbeat. She said it sounds great, and the heartbeat was so fast. Like, I remember Isaiah's heartbeat used to be like 120, 130, always 120, 130. This baby's heartbeat was like 161, 158, 161, 158, 161, 158. 161, 158. So, either that baby is super active or that baby is a girl. That's basically all my symptoms that I've had and like I said, my mood has been horrible. Sometimes I'm like excited, sometimes I'm not excited. Um, and then uh, I've been super emotional. I cry about everything. You could say hi to me and I'll be like, uh, really? Hi? Like I'm just, I've been super emotional about everything. Yeah, that's basically all my symptoms. Uh, I bought my prenatal pills in here that have iron in them just because I want you girls to see how big these iron pills are jeez louise look how big those are they're like horse pills seriously i'm gonna stop rambling um a couple of you guys have been asking me you know when i'm gonna start the um the room and the nursery and how i'm gonna do everything well since it'll be me the baby and isaiah all in one room um i already know how i want to set it up and once I get the furniture at least. I will definitely show you guys and let you guys know what's going on. I will do a before and I will do an after just so I can keep you guys updated with it. And like I said, with the as far as the gender goes, as soon as I find out, which I'm hoping is Friday, fingers crossed for Friday, I'll definitely get ready to do the gender reveal so you guys will not have to wait long at all. I will not make you wait. I won't do that to you. You guys will know within a week after I find out, so don't worry and like I said I'm gonna do something fun and something where you guys are just as involved as my family will be involved and I also plan on doing something fun for a gender reveal with my family and although Dresden isn't here I still want to do something fun and record it and you know get everybody's reactions when I tell them what I'm having so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my belly and then we're going to end this video this is with the shirt up and I might look a little bit bigger because I just ate like a cheeseburger, some fries, and a shake. So, I might look a little bit bigger. <laughs> and my belly button has popped, but I've never really had it any anyway. So, and then from the front. And then with the shirt down, you can't really even tell that I'm pregnant. So, hey. And um, thanks so much for the messages that you guys have been sending me on my YouTube and on my um, kick. I love those messages. And I know I might not always respond all the time. But thank you guys so much for your messages. I love them all. And I read every single comment. And I read every single message. And I read every single kick. And I read every single email that you guys send. I read everything. And I did get some um, requests on my Facebook. I just want to address that really quick. I do not want to add you guys on my personal Facebook just because um, I don't want to mix you guys in with my personal, you know, friends and family. I don't know how they would feel about that. I wouldn't mind you guys being on my personal, you know, account, but just because I have friends and family on there, I don't know how they would feel about, you know, you guys looking at their pictures and just being able to dab into their profiles because of my profile. So that's the only reason that I'm not accepting um, friend requests from you guys on there. Otherwise, I would. Or maybe I'll make a Facebook where we can all interact with each other. Not a like page because you guys are my fans. You guys are my family. So um, maybe I'll make a 
Facebook page where you guys can interact with me, you know, even more daily throughout the day. We can make funny statuses. We can be silly. We can update stuff and everything like that. I don't know. I'll think about it. If that's something that you guys want to see, then you know what to do. Kick me. Let me know. Tell me something good. Um, Don't forget to leave comments down below because I love reading you guys' comments. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!